Deborah, do you know Dorothy Lucy? Oh my God, I do indeed. This is like a Chicago reunion. Yeah. Hi, you. Hi. You're on with Dorothy and and Say and Andy and and of course me, Deborah. It's it's so nice to hear from you. We were just talking to Dorothy about mending kids international. Or, or it, it's a it's a charity thing that she's involved with. Oh. Um, and it has nothing to do with Donald Sterling, who was going to be the story that we were going to talk to you about. Well, I got to tell you, we had so much good stuff on this. <sighs> just incredibly long-standing situation that's been going on. You know, the rest of the country may be hearing about it, but this man has been um, living his life in a way that most of us would kind of raise both eyebrows and go, huh, uh, for a very long time. And it's interesting, this story with the woman with the, the mask on her face, V. Stiviano, is almost chapter, line, and verse a repeat of a similar situation that ended not well for Mr. Sterling in 2002 with the other other girlfriend who we spoke to. Her. We had the details on that today on Inside Edition. Oh, my we'll God. You know, it's just unbelievable. You're, you're, you did a story today. you got more tomorrow. Yeah, and the it, it really is. It's like history repeating itself. So in 1999 through 2002, he had an affair with a woman by the name of... Um, Alexandra Castro, and they were very, very close, and under oath, Mr. Sterling, in a deposition that was part of a court case, talked about their sexual relation. And, and, and he's married all this time. He's still, oh, he's still he's married. Oh, he's been married for close to 50 years. Yeah, of course. Here's the thing. It all ended when Mrs. and Mr. Sterling sued the woman, other woman number one, shall we say, mm -hmm. in 2002, to get back the stuff that she'd been given by Mr. Sterling. Deja vu. A lovely home in yeah, Beverly yeah, Hills, yeah. lots of money, blah, blah, blah. Gee, where have we heard this before? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Sterling sued V. Stiviano about a month ago for the stuff that she'd been given, $1.8 million worth of goods, including a house, including cars and cash and so forth and so on. But, you know, Deborah, this is, as, as you mentioned, in, in Dorothy, have you ever met Sterling? Dorothy? I don't think I have. And I thought I'd met just about everybody. You know, I, I want to say, if you're a L.A. Uh, listener here, that y if you've seen the L.A. Times, it seemed like every other day he had a full-page ad congratulating himself on another award that he was getting. But w what really is, is sort of coming to the forefront here now is that everyone has sort of known this guy was mm. uh, n not what he's tried to purport to be. Uh, not somebody you'd invite home to have dinner with your wife no. and your kids because you like the guy. No, absolutely not. You got you. Uh, did you show the underwear uh, pictures tonight on the air? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we did, and I didn't look away quickly enough. <laughs> <laughs> We have them here. We're gonna, we'll put them up so so our listeners can see them. Uh, it, it's just it's just stunning, and I think it really grabbed this city starting last weekend. That uh, when it was when when he got caught with his jammies down, mm. basically mm -hmm. everybody just unloaded on this guy because th there's been so much contempt uh, about him for him from Clippers fans, from uh, just folks. And it kind of shows you, if you're really rich, what you can kind of get away with for a long time. Well, and he gave them the opportunity. He gave them a, an opening wide enough to drive a Mack truck through. And you know, it's interesting, Rob, if you go and look at the contributions that have been doled out by the Donald T. Sterling um, Charitable Foundation, and then look at the timing of the gifts that were made, and those honors that you mentioned are frequently <laughs> commemorated with paid ads in the newspaper. Yeah. Um, there's a connection. Hey, Norval. Yeah. I haven't seen you since, I don't know, like Nappy, like 15 years ago. Uh, no, but you know what? I have a photograph, and unfortunately it's at my weekend house, or I would have dug it up and I would tweeted it out while we're doing this tonight. You and I, you won't remember this, but you and I were, you were, you and I were judges at the Miss, Chicago preliminary for the Miss America contest. <laughs> you remember that? But I, yeah, it wasn't the real contest. I only made it to the re, the prelims. You well, were. We were in Chicago. You and I both did our shows that day, and then we went over. and We were judges to the Miss Chicago contest, or whatever what, it was it's, called. It's what you did. We were lucky we didn't have to have lunch with Harry Carey that day and have a couple of beers. <laughs> hey, that would have been probably more fun. Seriously, you have a, I don't you, know. Looking at girls in bathing suits was probably cool for you. It was kind of kind of weird for me. Yes, it what was cool. For me. It was great for me. <laughs> 
Deborah, thank you, though, for calling in and, and chatting with us about the Sterling thing. We're going to look for more of your Donald Sterling uh, stories tomorrow night on Inside Edition, the, uh, where Deborah has been the anchor for 19 frickin' Centuries. years. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> I sleep at the station that way I don't forget to show up for the job. I don't think so. You've got three kids. <laughs> uh, there you go. All right, Deborah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us. so much.